Hi everyone and welcome to Brick Arena. A few weeks ago I posted a picture on Instagram of a new set of scales that I'd purchased for my Bricklink store. These scales are counting scales which allow me to count the number of parts on the scales by weight. These scales are particularly useful when you want to count large quantities of Lego parts and you want to save some time versus counting them out by hand. So when I decided I wanted some counting scales, I did a little bit of research and came up with this model, which is the CTS 6000, uh, which was available for purchase on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link below in the description for the scales. Um, I think I paid about £130 for them. Uh, I'll try and check the price out. But there were two sets of scales available uh, on the Amazon website. One was the CTS 6000 and one was the CTS 3000. And uh, I had to do a little bit of research to find out what the difference between the two sets of scales was. And the difference effectively came down to the capacity of the scale and the granularity of the uh, weight increments that the scale could weigh in. So with the CTS 3000, I believe that went up to a three kilogram maximum rate, but the important thing was it only measured in increments of half a gram, which I didn't think was very granular enough to be weighing small Lego parts. When I looked at the CTS 6000, that went up to a maximum six kilograms, and weighed in increments of 0.1 gram, so a tenth of a gram, which I thought was uh, much, much better. Now, uh, when I got the scales, um, I must admit I'm probably a little bit surprised in the size. I had looked at the dimensions and uh, knew it was going to be big, but of course, when it sat on your desk, um, you realise just how big uh, this thing is. Um, I'll try and put some measurements in the description uh, below, um, but it is a, a, a pretty uh, big scale. And if I put my hand into the picture just to give you some sense of scale, then you'll see that it is uh, a, a pretty big unit indeed. Um, now, it uh, effectively has three screens uh, on the scale, and I'll start the the... Um, the scales up in a second but uh, just before I do um, I just wanted to point out that there are three displays one is the overall weight of uh, whatever is on the scale at the moment the next is the unit weight um, so the weight per piece and the third is the count of the total pieces and you can see there are there's lots of buttons on here. These are used for entering uh, the counts, etc. And there are a number of functions that you can perform on uh, the weighing scales itself, such as um, adding multiple batches together and, and things like that. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail around the, the numerous functions of the scales themselves. I'm going to focus on the counting capabilities of them and talk you through those. Now, when you do get the scales, they do need to be calibrated um, or at least leveled. So over here, um, there is, uh, you can't really see it on the screen here, but there is a little air bubble and you have to adjust each of the four legs that exist uh, in each corner to get the scale balanced with that air bubble centered in the middle of the uh, view window there. Now um, the scales are powered into mains power and in here there is a in charge um, uh, indicator here that's just telling me that the scales are powered but they do run by battery as well but I, I'll be honest I've not tested them uh, by battery themselves. So let's turn the scales on. The power switch is just under the scales to the right, so quite handy to, to turn on. 
and the scale immediately goes through a kind of a self test and begins to count down before reaching uh, zero in each of the three displays. And I apologize if the screens aren't um, overly um, clear uh, to, to view. It's quite difficult with getting the lighting right and being able to display those um, clearly. Um, now, one of the things, just before I get into the functionality a little bit more, is there is a little plastic case uh, or a plastic cover on the scales here, which is... Uh, useful if you're in a dirty environment, but for most of us uh, Bricklink sellers or Lego parts sellers um, We know it's not particularly a, a dirty environment So how do we count uh, using the scales? Well um, What we want to do first of all is get a container that we put onto the scales and in this case I'm just using one of my plastic cups that I use for parting out and you'll see that in the weight here it has a, a weight because of the cup now what we want to do is zero the scales down including the weight of the cup so we press the tear button here and that will zero out the overall weight to include the cup at zero um, weight now, if I take a part, and I'm starting with a pretty big part here just to demonstrate the concept. If I put one part in there, you'll see that the weight goes up to 3.8 there. And what I would do to start counting is I'd put in that I've got a quantity of 1, and I press the count button here. When I do that, what the scales do is they calculate the weight of one part. So that is uh, 3.8 grams in this case, but it goes down to five decimal places. So quite a granular level of weight. And you'll see that we've got a quantity of one in this count total scale here. Now, if I add another one, then this will count to two based on the weight. It does a division of the unit weight and comes up with the overall total. Now, if I were to add another two in there, then it simply increments and it's counting in that case up to four. Now, I'll add another six in there and that's giving me an overall total of 10. So nice and easy uh, and really uh, clear to see. And a lot of you would be thinking, well, with those uh, size parts, I wouldn't bother with a set of counting scales. And quite right too. I mean, if, if this were me and I wanted to count uh, 10 of these out, I'd do it by hand even now with having the scales. So where is it that they become more useful? Now I'm going to wear some smaller parts and for this I'm using a different style of container and when I put this container on we've got a, a weight here which we need to zero out so I'm hitting the tear button again to get the overall weight down to zero and what I'm going to do now is put a sample quantity of 10 in here because you always want to count a small sample when you want to weigh large quantities so that the scales can use that base sample to calculate the overall number of parts. So we've got a weight and we need to put our 10 and hit the count button to get the unit weight and the count for those 10. Now what I'm going to do now is add another 190 additional one by two plates here that I've got in other cups and you should see that that now counts very quickly and very easily up to 200 total count now if I were to have counted those 200 out by hand it have taken me a lot longer I may have lost count during the process I might have ended up double counting um, I just find when I'm 
wanting to part out um, large quantities of parts it's much easier to use scales like these so if you're selling in hundreds or thousands of parts or even you're just buying pick a brick cups and you want to get them into your store quickly you can wear them really quickly and get them into your store without very much fuss at all um, I'm not going to go over the other uh, features but what I could have done for instance was I could have weighed um, this batch and then I could have um, added that to a count and then weighed another batch and multiplied them uh, that way that is a, uh, a way if you've got very large quantities of getting them on the scale I will say that you really need to try and get the parts into the center of the scale um, to ensure absolute uh, accuracy and another tip with these scales is by default they measure the unit weight and the count based on the display now there's another mode that you can set just check the manual um, it's it, it's in there um, and it's uh, under the section counting and auto average and um, it gives you another option whereby you can set the scales to use the internal processor to do the counting rather than the actual display and apparently that gives a much greater level of accuracy so that's a really good tip um, because when I first got the scales I was a little bit disappointed in the accuracy sometimes I would find that it it you know maybe over counted by one here or there um, but by changing the setting to use the internal processor really improve that significantly so I hope you found that useful um, if you did give me a thumbs up um, remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video bye for now